Hello guys and gals, this is a product review for Popcorn Indiana. Real ingredients, real delicious. Made with real Himalayan pink sea salt. So this is Himalayan pink sea salt. Oops, Himalayan pink salt popcorn. I have no idea what this is. It was free someplace, um, the Hope Chest on Derby in um, Pekin, Illinois. Anyways, um, we also had other things there, but we didn't want to... We only got one each, so, uh, so yeah, this is what I picked. This is also what he picked, but anyways. Uh, also, um, I know this is, I'm just going to take a slight detour here. We'll be doing a review for this, uh, next, tomorrow. We'll be, go live tomorrow anyways. Tomorrow after this video. This video will go live, I don't know, sometime. I'm not going to check. Anyways, I found another one of these at Dollar Tree. It, this one is floral instead of um, animals. Um, oh. Well, that's neat. This one isn't colored by number. That's cool. I still like it. Yeah, that's fine. Um, the animal one was colored by number. But, so that, that's fine. I found this book for 10 cents. By Nancy Farmer, the ear, the eye, and the arm. It looked really interesting, and the copyright seems to imply that I can I can read this on my channel. So um, I, I got it for a dime. So um, I'm I'm going to be reading that on my channel eventually. But that isn't the biggest find. The biggest find is that I actually found a copy of the Chessboard Queen by Sharon Newman. Now I tried to get this book from the library, but it's so obscure that the only place that had it was a high school library, and I don't think that uh, that the library can actually borrow from a high school library. So I went to... Um, Tales of a Bookworm. It is at... Sorry, this is probably not going to show up. I'll have to read this. 32654 Court Street in Pekin, Illinois. And um, they have all kinds of books there. Um, this book was only three dollars, and I mean to buy it like from Amazon or anything, it would have been like nine bucks. And so I found it for three. I'm going to ask the author if I can read this on my channel since I found it. Since since I since I um I'll be done reading Guinevere, uh, probably in a week or two. That would be worthy to um take its place. And lastly, I got this. I haven't even opened it yet. This is uh, the DVD copy of Mewtwo Strikes Back Evolution. I have no idea what the movie's about. I just know it has something to do with Mewtwo. Legend Returns. So, um, I know they've been re remaking the Pokemon movies. And um, so, yeah. Sorry. We're going to get back to this product review. Sorry about that. I know you came to for the product review. So, let's get on with it. Um, this, is, this has pink Himalayan sea salt. And I believe that my... Um, my salt lamp is made out of um, pink Himalayan salt as well. But anyways, let's um, get this bag open. Okay, let's see here. I just, um, okay. These chips, uh, the red chips are the Voodoo Evil Eye. No, I mean um, Zap's Evil Eye. And the, uh, the orange ones are the um, Clancy's Pizza Puffs. I'm just about to watch a movie and so let's put some popcorn on top of it. Yeah, why not? I've done reviews of all these products, so, uh, yeah. Let's try one of these pieces of popcorn. I don't really see that's pink or anything, but, uh, hmm. It's very lightly salted. Um, hmm. It's good. Hmm. I like this. One more, then I will make a review. Hmm. Okay. Um, the salt. Hmm. That's good. Okay. Okay. To me, this tastes um, this tastes like normal popcorn. Um, it is slightly salty. Um, actually, 
as far as I'm concerned, it's perfectly salty because I don't like overly salty things. So as far as I'm concerned, it's really, really good. Um, I don't think I've ever had pink Himalayan salt. We have some downstairs that my dad uses, but I don't think I've ever used it myself because I don't really use butter or salt or anything usually on my food. Um, but anyways, this is extra good. Mm. Very good. It's a nice flavor. It's like really, really good popcorn. And it has like a little nice salty flair to it. Really nice. So yeah, I highly recommend this product. This is um, Popcorn Indiana. I guess that's the brand name. Himalayan Pink Salt Popcorn. So yeah, I'm not exactly sure where you can pick this up. Because, um, like I say, I got this free somewhere. But I find it to be a very good product. So if you do find it and you like popcorn, then you'll probably like this product too. But then again, that is just my opinion. You can either take my opinion or leave it. Either way is fine. And if you like this con this content, make sure you like and subscribe and ring the bell so you know when I upload. And if you, if you want to support me in any way or mail me thing things to make reviews of, then all that information is in the description below. As always, thanks for watching, everyone. Have a great day.